हेलो व्यूअर्स इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन इम्पॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम इंडेफिनेट इंटीग्रल राइट सो हियर वी हैव अ प्रॉब्लम वी हैव टू फाइंड द इंटीग्रल ऑफ वन माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर ओवर एक्स टाइम्स वन माइनस टू एक्स राइट सो हियर टू इवेलुएट दिस इंटीग्रल विल मेक यूज ऑफ द मेथड ऑफ पार्शियल फ्रैक्शंस राइट बट हियर Uh, before uh, decomposing this uh, rational function into partial fractions uh, we have to uh, closely look at this uh, integrand and uh, if we observe we see that uh, the uh, degree of the uh, numerator is equal to the degree of the uh, denominator right so here we have 1 minus uh, x square over x minus 2x square and the degree of numerator is 2 and the degree of denominator is also 2 right so before decomposing this uh, uh, rational function into partial fractions uh, we have to first divide the numerator uh, by denominator right so uh, in such problems whenever we have a rational functions where the degree of uh, numerator is uh, uh, either greater than or equal to the uh, degree of denominator uh, we uh, first divide the numerator by denominator right so let us first divide 1 minus x square by uh, x minus 2x square so now uh, we have to divide 1 minus x square by x minus uh, 2x square so here uh, we'll have half because uh, when we multiply x minus 2x square with half uh, we'll get uh, half x minus x square right and uh, we subtract then uh, these two terms uh, sorry here we'll get uh, the positive sign so these two terms get cancelled and we are left with 1 minus half x right so this is our uh, divisor and this is our uh, dividend and this is the quotient and this is the uh, remainder right so this is quotient this is remainder this is uh, uh, divisor and uh, this is the dividend right okay so when the degree of the numerator is greater than or equal to the degree of denominator the first step is to divide the uh, numerator by the denominator in order to reduce the degree right so viewers uh, now uh, let us uh, express uh, this 1 minus uh, x square uh, by uh, using the formula uh, which we know that uh, dividend is uh, equal to Uh, divisor multiplied by quotient plus remainder right so we can now write 1 minus x square as x minus uh, 2x square uh, times the quotient which is uh, half and the remainder is uh, 1 minus half x right okay so now here uh, this is an important result and if we divide both sides uh, right here if we divide both sides by the uh, divisor then we have a dividend uh, over divisor is equal to here the divisor get cancelled so we have quotient plus uh, remainder over uh, divisor right so here also we'll uh, make use of uh, this result so this is our uh, dividend and this is our divisor this is the quotient and this is the remainder right so if we divide both sides by uh, x minus 2x square then we'll have 1 minus x square over x minus 2x square is equal to half plus 1 minus half x over uh, x minus 2x square right which can also be written as half plus 1 minus half x over uh, x taking x common here so we have 1 minus 2x 
right so now uh, this uh, rational function which is given as our integrand can now be uh, expressed uh, like this now here we see that uh, half is a constant this is a constant and uh, this uh, expression is also a rational uh, function but uh, now here the degree of the numerator is uh, less than the degree of the denominator so now we can uh, decompose uh, this rational function into partial fractions right so now uh, this integral uh, i we can call this integral as i so now i can be written as uh, integral of uh, 1 minus x square over x minus 2x square which is half plus 1 minus half x over x 1 minus 2x right so now uh, we have uh, this integral now we can uh, separately treat this rational function uh, in order to decompose it into uh, partial fractions so now viewers here we see that uh, this rational function uh, is having the denominator as a product of two uh, linear factors right so here uh, we have two linear factors of the form x minus a x minus b uh, therefore we can uh, decompose this uh, uh, rational function like this a over uh, x minus a which is uh, our x and here we have b over x minus b which is the 1 minus 2x right now we can uh, rewrite this expression as a times 1 minus 2x here we have bx over x times 1 minus 2x and here uh, if we compare uh, both uh, both the sides uh, we get uh, the uh, expression that is 1 minus half x 1 minus half x is equal to a times 1 minus 2x plus bx right now uh, this can also be written as uh, 1 minus half x here we have a then we can uh, write it as b minus 2a and here we have x right now if we compare both the sides the constant term is uh, a which is equal to 1 and here uh, minus half is uh, equal to uh, b minus 2a because the coefficient of x is b minus 2a and here the coefficient of x is uh, minus half now here uh, putting a is equal to 1 we get minus half is equal to b time uh, b minus 2 times 1 so we have b minus 2 so b is now equal to 2 minus half that is uh, uh, 4 minus 1 over 2 that is 3 over 2 right so now we have uh, calculated the two constants a and b so now uh, this integral i uh, can be written as uh, a half plus now this uh, rational function can be written as uh, a over x plus b over uh, 1 minus 2x right and uh, now we can substitute the values of a and b so we have now half plus uh, the value of a is 1 so we have 1 over x and the value of b is uh, 3 over 2 right and here we have 1 minus uh, 2x right so now viewers uh, we have three integrals here and which are very easy so the integral of half dx is uh, simply half x the integral of 1 over x is uh, log x and here we have 3 over 2 and integral of uh, uh, 1 minus 2x and here we have the constant of integration right now we know that uh, integral of uh, 1 over a minus bx uh, dx is uh, equal to minus 1 over b a log of uh, a minus bx right so now we can uh, use this result that is integral of 1 over a minus bx is uh, minus 1 over b log of a minus bx over here so we have half x plus log x 
and here we have 3 over 2 uh, times 1 over minus 2 log of 1 minus 2x plus c right and uh, the final result is half x plus log x uh, minus 3 over 4 uh, log 1 minus 2x plus c right where c is the uh, constant of integration so viewers uh, this is how uh, we solve uh, this uh, indefinite integral by making use of uh, the method of uh, partial fractions